Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky, I find my way. Good morning, everybody. Jeff is on his way to work, and I have the finest Cheddar's bag with my tumblers in it for him to take in. So, you know. Don't forget to bring my fancy bag back, okay? Well, I don't know. <laughs> that's Maybe a really I want to keep it. That's a really nice bag. That I mean, very good quality. <laughs> All right. So we got five in there. So we're five. Five. So there, I did. Wait, what's that? Oh, oh, right. That's another one. I is think. Is that the original one? I think that is the original. Okay. So you just want to double six. check that. Okay. Um. Make so there was seven, but I went to go put it into the box, and I noticed. There was a spot. Oh. I felt it. You can't see it, yeah, but you can feel it. Original one. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. I think. I mean, I turned it into one, so. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Okay. All right. well, I only need four for today, so that's good. Okay. I'm a, I'm I'm kind of ahead then. Well, actually, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. We're so we're just. Four. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go get my blood drawn. This I know. Afternoon. Yeah. He has to go. And get himself checked out. Although, That's important. I, I never, never really had my blood drawn before I had those issues a few years ago, yeah. and uh, it's been done so many times now. It doesn't really bother me well, good. anymore. Yeah, he used to almost uh, like pass out. If I can out. get somebody who can find a vein in my yeah, arm, <laughs> then it doesn't bother me. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good day. All right, you too. Goodies up, and today is don't get mixed up on drugs. So they're allowed to wear mixed match clothes. And so this is what we have for Charlotte. Charlotte, you want to come in and show everybody? Let's take a look at your mixed match outfit for the day. Oh, look at you. So what do we have here? We have a gorgeous monster truck shirt, a pair of tie dye shorts, a ketchup sock, a Christmas sock. And then the hair is one side is a braid and the other side is a pigtail. Gorgeous. Love it. Perfect mix match outfit. Now Delilah. <laughs> and now De is Delilah ready? No, Delilah. Miss Delilah is sporting a pajama top with a pair of jean shorts, a tomato sock with what looks like to be no sock, a Converse shoe and a Nike shoe. No. And then the hair is one up braid and one down braid, so it's kind of yeah. Oh, did it? <laughs> okay. Mama, but, there's yeah. Hello Kitty there. Oh, it's a Hello Kitty sock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, well, I think you guys are ready, ready for the festivities of today. Love it. Let's you get you off. You you have a test today, but you're gonna do amazing because you are so smart. You are so smart, and you're gonna do great. Daddy and I are so proud of you. Okay, yeah. All right, let's get this day going, shall we? Yeah. All right, the house is clean, chores, whatever. Eh, the done, all right? I have Sadie's pumpkin here, okay? She's the only one that's gonna be carving her pumpkin, I do believe, although after her sisters see that she's gonna be carving hers, I'm sure they'll be like, I wanna do one too. Anyways, we're not gonna think about that right now. <laughs> we're gonna focus on this pumpkin because we absolutely love pumpkin seeds and we only get to have them around Halloween. So since tomorrow is Halloween, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-cut Sadie's pumpkin for her. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out the seeds. I'm gonna rinse them. I'm gonna dry them off really good and later on, I'll have Jeff season them up and stick them in the oven and we'll have a nice treat that we only get for Halloween. They used to have one of those pumpkin carving kits. I don't know where it went off to, so we're just using a trusty old uh, kitchen, kitchen utensils here, kitchen knife. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna cut this stuff off here. Let's see. 
Doesn't look like there's gonna be too many in this one, but that's okay, we don't need a lot. It's just like a little treat that we all kind of look forward to. Jeff usually does, I think, I swear last year he smoked some of the seeds. I can't remember, I'll have to ask him. If I remember to ask him, I don't know. <laughs> but I swear last year he did smoke some of his seeds on the smoker. All right, now time to scoop. It's, really, it's not my favorite part, but. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of seeds in there. That's a pretty good scoop. I think I did pretty good, look at that. Pretty hollow there. Good enough, good enough. It just needs to last a day, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pop its lid back on and then when Sadie comes home, she can carve that if she wants to. These are all the seeds that came out of it. So now I'm gonna wash them up really, really good. I'm gonna put them on a towel to dry and later on we'll toast them up. I'm standing here washing and I wanted to show you guys this because I didn't know if you knew this or not. This is my Stanley. Uh, did you guys know that this comes off so that you can properly clean it? I don't know if you guys knew that. Don't be afraid to take these off. You have to clean under there. You take these two tabs and you're gonna press them in and then push, okay? And it pops right out and you can clean up underneath there and, and clean it really good. Also, this plastic ring comes right off as well. You'll, you wanna make sure that you do that every so often because it'll get mold up underneath there. So the plastic ring take off and this take off. And then when you go to put this back on, it has to go a certain way or it won't shut properly. So if you're having an issue uh, with shutting your Stanley, you know, closing and it won't close right, try flipping your ring if you happen to have taken it off. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Make sure you clean your lids. So for dinner, I might as well uh, go ahead and prepare that as well, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I don't know why I do this and there's probably a better way to do it, but when I'm on Facebook and I see a recipe I like, I screenshot it. The reason why I screenshot it is um, so that way when I go into my photos on my phone, I have an iPhone, um, all I have to do is look up anything that I've screenshot and then I can find the recipes easier that way. That's what I do. But tonight we're going to have chicken ricotta meatballs with spinach alfredo sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare the meatballs. Since I got my uh, cleaning done so early, I'm able to do all this. All right. Let me just get everything out. What do I need? I made this once before and everybody absolutely loved it. So this is my second time making it. One pound of chicken, ricotta cheese, parmesan cheese, an egg, breadcrumbs. I prefer panko breadcrumbs. I don't know about you guys. I, I don't know, they're crunchier. I like them better. I don't have fresh garlic today, so I'm just gonna use powdered garlic, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, okay? Or Italian dressing mix, it's not seasoning. All right. Will it fit in this? I hope so. We shall see. <laughs> I really like to use recipes that involve chicken as much as I can. And, you know, obviously, it's like healthier for you, you know? So, especially doing it all from scratch, you know what's in it. About a half a cup of ricotta, half a cup of breadcrumbs, one egg. Parmesan, you don't have to have the fancy Parmesan. Just regular old great Parmesan is okay too. I just happen to have this. I think it says a one fourth of a cup, but I'm just gonna measure with my heart. That should be good. And of course, a little bit for me. I have a little bit of salt and pepper. Remember if you're using um, Parmesan, it, it's pretty salty already, so don't, don't go too crazy with the salt. I mean, you want it flavored, but not overboard. It says a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, but again, I'm just gonna measure with my heart. Just add it all. I'm I'm the type of person that cleans as I go, so I'm gonna, I gotta clean this up first before I get squishing, okay? And then I just have a little cookie scooper, whatever, just a small one. I, I think this is like an inch size because you just want them little, little meatballs. Take my rings off and we'll start squishing. Grease the pan. I got it all squished up. I'm just gonna take them, do a scoopful, like so, just kinda, and just kinda roll them around a little bit. 
till you get them the way that you want and place it down and do that until you're done. So that made about 26 for me with the, like all the proper measurements and stuff. I made about 26, so not too bad. I'm gonna wrap it up, stick it in the fridge, and all I gotta do is pop it in the oven later. All right, I picked everybody up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and preheat the oven and get them put in. Let's take a look. All right. Mid to bowls. <laughs> and I'm gonna boil up some penne pasta too to go with it. Jeff's home. I'm home. Hey. He got his uh, blood work oh, done. Yeah, I had to go get some blood work yeah, done. So. Apparently I was supposed to go yesterday. Yeah. They was... called me and they're like, hey, are you on your way? I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> but we scheduled this appointment like a year ago. So, I mean, yeah. Anyway, so you're in charge of this. Oh. Pumpkin seeds. Oh, okay. Molly would like to help you as well. Okay. Um, I don't know what you want to put on them. I figured maybe you could put them in the oven while the... We just salt I She's think it's the favorite we well, we've done other stuff before I think yeah. we did the salt pepper garlic last year but I think salt's just okay we're only gonna do one tray all right salt is the way to, to go <laughs> all right so I think all we need is just salt and oil put some oil in there that's probably good okay. a little Ooh, slick Oh. <laughs> Do you need it? Put some salt in there. Hey. Just a, a light coating of salt is good. So we got salt in there. Easy. In the oven they go. So for the Alfredo sauce, I'm just gonna do kind of semi-homemade. They do give like how to do like full on do it yourself. But I, I just use this Alfredo sauce. I put a little bit of butter down in there, a little bit of half and half, and throw some spinach in there, put the meatballs in, and then we'll be eating. All right, I'm remembering to show it this time. This is what it looks like in the end, okay? You got the spinach in there, the meatballs, yum. Well, I guess I better show this before it's gone, but oh, there's they're our, so good. <laughs> they're so good. It's so simple, but so good. How long did we put them in there? They were only in there for like 15, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah, maybe. And they're like perfect. You just, you just wait till uh, they get crispy. Yeah, and they're perfectly toasted. All right, guys, well, so I was just thinking about this because tomorrow is Halloween, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading tomorrow night, but rather I'll post maybe in the morning, the following morning, Friday morning. Yeah. So that way you guys can uh, join us when we go out for Halloween tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. got Halloween tomorrow. So I'm thinking I'm going to post that Friday morning for you guys. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. And Friday we have a new student. Oh yes, Friday you have a new student, but you have a dentist appointment, so mm -hmm. you actually won't be in school that day because you have a dentist appointment. So thank you for joining me today. We hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and we will see you guys Friday morning. Okay. Bye.